Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to cover how to create custom error pages in Bottle. So typically when an error occurs on your application and let's say you get a 404 error, the web framework will come back with some generic error page, but sometimes you don't want that error page. Sometimes you want something a little more descriptive, something more user friendly, or something to completely hide the fact that something has gone wrong. So whatever you choose is up to you, and I'll show you in this video how to create your own custom error pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a very basic bottle app. So I'm importing routes and run. I'm gonna create a route on the index, and I'll call this index, and then I'll just return index. Probably going to erase that, but I just want to set that up. And then I'm gonna run not going to use debug mode, so I'll use debug false and then reloader true. Okay, so let me just run that to make sure everything's working. Okay, so the app is up and running. Now to have custom error pages, I need to import a decorator called error. An error works very simply. All I need to do is do at error. And then it takes in one argument, and that argument is the error code that I'm going to create a custom page for. So in this case, I'll do 404, which is probably the most common error that people come across. So with 404, I just need to define a function. It's kind of like a route, but this route only gets called, this, this error route, in a sense, would only get called if there's actually an error. So it works the same as routes, except it only gets called if there's an error. So at error 404, and I'll just call this error 404 as the function as well. And all of these functions take one parameter called error, which is the actual error, but in this case, I'm not going to display the error because I want a custom one. So I'll say, you have experienced a 404. And I forgot the colon there. All right. so. First, I'm going to comment this out just so you can see what the 404 looks like right now. So the server is started. Um, I'll go to missing. So I have this generic error page, error 404 not found. Now let me uncomment this error route or this error decorator that I just created and restart the server. Okay. Now when I go to the same page that doesn't exist, I get my custom error. So you have experienced a 404. And typically this would be a template, but in this example, I don't wanna show you how to build your own custom error page because that's completely up to you. I just wanna show you how to use it once you already have it. But in this case, I'm just using something as simple as a 404. Uh, you have experienced a 404. So let me do an error on something else. Let's say 405, which is method not defined. So error 405, pass in the error, this method is not allowed. And once again, I'll comment it out first, just so I can demonstrate it. And on the index, I'll put method as post. So I can't do a get request through the browser. So let me go back to the index. So it's telling me error 405 method not allowed. This is the generic bottle error page. Now if I uncomment this, it should show my custom error page. And I need to wait for the server to restart. This method is not allowed. That's my custom error message. So I'll do one more. Let's say error 500, which means internal server error. So this is an error where something in your code is probably messed up and not so much the web server itself. So I'll pass the error. I'll say something went wrong and I'll enclose that in header tags as well okay so let me comment that out and I'll create a new route called zero what I'm going to do is divide by zero which will cause which will cause a 500 error so one divided by zero should cause an error so server should restart and now I will navigate to slash zero 
and it tells me I get a 500 internal server error. So let me uncomment this. And now wait for the server to restart. And now if I go here, I get my custom error page saying something went wrong. So as you can see, having your own errors in Bottle is really, really easy. You just have to treat them as kind of like routes, but they only get called in the case of an error. So I hope this video helped you understand how to do that. If you have any questions about creating error pages in Bottle, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thanks for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.